So I started building some Shopify stores for a few of my followers. Just as kind of like a crazy experiment. I always talk about how, you know, on my grave, on my tombstone, I wanted to say he was a mad scientist. So I own 11 e-commerce brands. Some of them you know, some of them you might not know that I own. Some of them medium size, some of them pretty large. And um, so I started taking everything that I knew and I did this like crazy experiment, mad scientist experiment, just taking some of my followers and saying, hey, do you wanna be in a test group? I'll literally build your whole, me and my team will like build your whole Shopify store. And so I thought I'd pull back the curtain on how I do that because maybe you can use it. Um, to build your own e-commerce, uh, well, I would say platform, but you don't need a platform because there's so many platforms you can just piggyback off like Shopify, Kajabi, ClickFunnels, you know, WordPress. So the hard part is not building a website. Building a website is nothing. Let me just tell you that because if you do the stats, there's like over multiple billion web pages right now in the www, the worldwide you know, web, it's too big. So you could build a site, but it's like that saying, if a tree falls in the woods and nobody's there to hear it, does it make a sound? That's how most websites are. <laughs> like you build a website and nobody knows how to find it. It's not built right, who cares? You're just another nameless, faceless, multiple billion web page on the internet. And so as I pull back the curtain, there's kind of like three things that I do. Um, as I said, I have big e-commerce platforms um, and websites like Dress Barn is a big company that uh, I own. Um, I bought it in, in October last year. It did 740 million in revenue last year. Um, so, and Ecom was, when, when I bought it, Ecom was in the nine figures. So now I own that brand, took it over, made it a pure Ecom brand. I got a website called Farmer's Cart, which is a big grocery, online grocery store, sell grass-fed meat and all this. Um, and so I'm giving you experience, not like some people are like, Todd, you just make money by telling other people how to make money. Well, it's a good delusion that makes people feel good about themselves to say, but it's not true. Every day, um, my e-com brands make a lot of money. Nothing to do with teaching either. But I like to teach because I wish somebody had taught me. That's it, like that's kind of how I, and somebody did, I had mentors, but there wasn't YouTube when I was a teenager. So like, it wasn't as easy to learn. There wasn't even videos. I had to like travel around the world to find mentors. I've been to 40 countries searching for mentors. So a little bit easier for you now. So as we dissect and pull back the perfect e-com website, first of all, I'm talking about a physical product e-com play now, because there's you can do physical, digital, or service-based. Let's talk for physical. So the first thing you need is what I call ethically addictive products. Whatever you see on the internet about telling you that the secret to e-commerce is using Shopify or ClickFunnels or this or that, um, if they don't preface it with what I'm saying now, it's garbage advice. A lot of people giving advice on e-com and they don't even do, you know, a million a month, okay? Me and my business partner, um, you know, we're, we're, let's just call it a billion plus that we've done in e-com. So I'm telling you from experience, the platform, whether it's Shopify, ClickFunnels, Kajabi, WordPress, uh, doesn't matter if you don't have an ethically addictive product. So the first thing, when I'm building these stores, we've done like, I think we, we just, we did like 30 recently for my followers, 30. 30 stores, done for you, completely done, boom, boom, boom. Here it is, give it to you, ready for you to launch. Most people would take a year to build and we'd build it in like two weeks. And ethically addictive is like coffee. That's ethically addictive. Here's why. My second mentor, Alan Nation, who's really the smartest person I've ever met, and I've met some pretty smart people. He said, look, Ty, the thing about business and making money is that, the cost to acquire your a customer, your first one or your second one or your hundredth one, um, whatever money you make on them from their first purchase, you pretty much, it's all eaten up by the cost to get them to buy from you. Meaning the marketing cost pretty much equals the gross profit that you make. So if somebody buys $100 on your website, 
you probably spent a hundred bucks to get them there the first time to get a buyer. And so he said, you only make money from repeat buyers. Like you, all wealth is created from repeat buyers. Think about it. Ethically addictive, coffee, Starbucks, one of the wealthiest people in the world, the founder. Netflix, is that addictive? Yes. Is it ethical? Yeah. How many people are addicted to watching something on Netflix? That's e-com. They've got over 100 million people paying them 10, 12 bucks a month. That's one, $1.2 billion a month. How'd you like that pouring into your bank account? Um, so they can afford to do some marketing to get you there because then they're going to come back and back and back and back. Ethically addictive. So the first thing when I'm building a Shopify store, and if you try to do it on your own, is make sure it's addictive. Now, the ethical part, you can not do it ethical. There was a guy who built a website called Silk Road. It was kind of like an eBay for illegal stuff. People were selling heroin. You know, they were selling all kinds of stuff. He's in a supermax prison. He made a lot of money though, but he didn't get to keep it. Pablo Escobar, ethically, uh, unethically yet addictive business. He was making so much money at one point that they said he spent uh, $10,000 or something a month in rubber bands. That's crazy. In the thousands of just rubber, you know how many rubber bands you get for a thousand bucks? That's how much he needed. Um, but at the end, he got shot like four times on a rooftop in Colombia. My dad went to prison for selling addictive things that weren't ethical. He sold cocaine. He, from my dad's from Harlem. And uh, my mom said, before I was born, she's like, I remember the FBI kicking down the door and putting your dad in prison, put him in Terminal Island, which is an island off Long Beach, California. And that's why I was born in Long Beach. I put, if you see my baby pictures, a lot of them are visiting my dad in prison. So it didn't work out for my dad because he made a lot of money. He told me at one point, he's like, I had so much money, I didn't know what to do with it. Then it all got taken away. So I just want to give that little preface of the ethically addictive, but hopefully you're not, you're smart enough to understand that. But I'll give you an example of what's not an addictive product. I saw somebody the other day talking about dog beds. They're like, ah, dog beds. And it's trendy. You see it on AliExpress or... You know, you see it on drop shipping sites, and it's like, oh, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a store about dog beds. My question is, it, it, it's ethical? Is it addictive? I mean, who would be the addictive one? Would it be the dog? No, dog will sleep on anything. <laughs> is it the owner? They want to have a little cute bed. Well, how many do they want? Are they gonna be repeat buyers like a Netflix buyer? No, they're not. So to me, it's a, it's a garbage business. Um, you could have dog beds on your site, but I'd rather sell dog food. What about organic dog food? For the dog, it's addictive food. The dog needs it. Repeat, repeat buyer, repeat buyer. You see uh, websites like Chewy and stuff like this become billion dollar e-com plays. They do it because they understand what I'm talking about. So first thing is we need to populate. If I was building you a done for you store so you could be in the e-com game this, this month and I was doing all the work for you, I'd make sure I picked the right product that's ethically addictive, cosmetics pretty addictive. Even clothing. If you look at the business I'm in, Farmer's Cart, for example, is selling food. Dress barn is selling clothing. A lot of people addicted to waking up and buying clothes. A lot of people spending one to two hours a day on their phone browsing through what they should wear. So and it's ethical. So I like it. Food, ethical. We're selling, you know, grass-fed, non-confinement food. I like that angle. Um, so just remember, that's the hardest part pick the product. Like my mentor, Dr. David Buzz told me, I said, what's the secret to like dating and marriage? And he said, choose well, choose wisely, choose wisely up front. You choose the wrong person, all the work, all the therapy in the world ain't going to solve it. You're going to end up in a nasty divorce and lose half your money. Okay. The second thing when I'm building a done for you site, like what I built for these 30 people in a test group, um, is Large TAM. What's TAM stand for? Total addressable market. We could find an ethically addictive product, but if it has a low TAM, that means if I build the site and I, I'm not gonna ever get much volume. There's a principle in, in called stock and flow. Stock means raw volume and flow means like, in this case, your return on investment. So you could build a website that you buy something for $1 and you sell it for 10 bucks. And you're like, look Ty, I just 10 X to my money this month. But I'm like, how many units did you sell? One. 
well, great, you you spent one, you made 10, your, your gross profit's nine bucks. That's good from a flow standpoint, but not from a stock. So that's why you need to pick products that not only are ethically addictive, have repeat buyers, but they also need to have a certain uh, volume to them. For me, I only go into industries, I used to only go into industries that had at least 100 billion in revenue. Um, that's why I got into online education, by the way. Online education was $100 billion when I got into it back in 2014. That 2013, 2014, 15, it was getting to be around 100. Now it's over 100. But like food is an $8.5 trillion business. That's why I have farmer's cart. Clothing is about a 1.2 trillion. So now I only go into trillion dollar markets. I buy a lot of warehouses. I buy a lot of uh, um, land, raw land. Bought 850 acres in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia, like kind of prime farmland. Um, large tan, real estate, depending on how you calculate the total TAM of real estate, it's in the hundreds of billions, uh, hundreds of trillions, sorry. So, you know, land's expensive. Most <laughs> in-demand thing humans have on planet Earth. So that is important. Don't just pick an ethically addictive product. Build something that has some volume to it. Coffee's good, you know. I see people building like little teeny supplement companies. I mean, did you know cheese is a hundred billion dollar market? I'm surprised there's not a good, cheese is addictive. I'm addicted to cheese. Why isn't there a good cheese website that sells all these exotic cheese, maybe cheese on a subscription? I'd sign up to a cheese subscription package like that. It's ethically addictive as large tan, 100 billion plus. So that's why you gotta start thinking. That, By the way, that's why I wanted to do this test group. Some of the stuff I'm saying, it sounds easy, but it's I've been doing this since 2001. It's kind of instinctual for me. So that's why I built these people and last week released the first 30. So the third thing, that that uh, you have to know, and this is where the thing gets a little more kind of important. Um, it has to be the right pricing structure. There's the four P's of business. There's really seven P's, that's more advanced. Four P's, product price, uh, promotions, placement, right? So first thing I've talked about, the product. Second thing is pricing. So you need a certain, what I call an ascension model. And the Ascension model I recommend is a super low price, followed by a core price, okay? Followed by upgrades, just three. So you need something irresistibly low price. Remember when you go to, let's say the grocery store, Sam Walton from Walmart started to doing this. He was worth $160 billion. He spread it over. His, his three kids are still worth more than Jeff Bezos on Forbes list if you add his three grand, uh, children together. And it's because he started doing samples. He was like, here, try this little whatever, microwave enchilada. How much was it? Free. Well, that's a pretty low price. You don't get lower price than zero. And it was an irresistible offer. It's like cooked right in front of you, you're walking, boop, you eat it. And then they say, you want the core product? Here, here's the box, take it with you. And then when you're in the store, well, while I'm here, they designed the store. So you have to walk through <laughs> certain aisles that tempt you. And then you get to the cash register and they, they show you high profit products to upgrade oh, a little candy here, also oh, magazines here and people add it in. That's the Ascension model. You saw it all your life at the shopping center. I mean, at the grocery store, but nobody taught it to you. There's a sad commentary on the state of the education system where this little short video is gonna teach you more than anybody ever taught you in high school, junior high, college, MBA. You ever thought about the grocery store? Did you see the Ascension model coming? No. So when I build out stores for people, I build it in an Ascension model. For example, on Farmer's Cart the other day, we do daily deals. We had 99 cent ground beef, grass-fed, non-antibiotic. You go to Whole Foods, that's five to 10 bucks a pound. 99 cents, people were going, but we put a limit. You can only buy whatever, three or four pounds. So boom, irresistible offer. Then our core products, like some steaks people bought. Then we have things like protein popcorn, all these upgrades that, that push up the AOV. AOV is a term, you know, average order value. I like to use ICV, initial cart value, whatever. But it pushes up your potential profits and gross profits for sure. You need more in the cart. So that's how I built the sites. 
is with that understanding, you got to have that boom, that low price loss leader that ascends up into a core product. Like I said, the little piece of enchilada for free, the little sample of the microwave dinner, that's the irresistible offer. The box of it is the core all the way up to all the other things you buy in the grocery store is the upgrades. And that is how it's done. So I pulled back the curtain. Um, by the way, uh, I did a little talk like this on a live, on a live call and people were like, hey, I wanna get in to this test group and have you build me a site. Um, we do them for like between one and $10,000, usually not $1,000. You can build it by yourself if you want. You can go to Shopify, um, WordPress, and I think Shopify is a 40 bucks a month free trial. Um, and you'll just have to figure it out yourself if you want to save some time. So here's the deal. I don't really want to do this in mass for people because um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to do it for people. And I don't want to do it for too many people because it's like almost like building comp competition for myself. But I'm going to put a link below. I'll put a little, this is what I did. So I'll extend this thing. I did a little, you got to talk to my office. We'll call you or you put a calendar time. You want us to call you. We'll do a little 15 minute interview. If you're a good fit, we'll approve you. We charge a little bit of money. Like I said, you don't have to use us. You can go to Shopify or it's just easier. And we're kind of a master at it. You know, I have one of my websites yesterday got 253,000. Um, unique views. Some of you have seen my screenshots that I post or my live calls. I'll show the statistics. So, I mean, we know how to build high volume sites. I'm not saying your website will get 250,000 because you're going to still have to do the marketing and stuff like that. But we will do the heavy lifting for you, help you pick the product. I've seen people get paralyzed. So this is not for everybody. So click the link below or in the corners. It's going to take you to a page. It's free. You just put in a, you fill out, tell us a little bit about yourself and a time when you want my office to call you. We have a calendar, you pick the time, and da da da, you know, three o'clock Monday, and my team will call you and say, hey, you wanted to apply to be one of the people in Ty's test group where he builds a complete e-commerce website for you, helps you pick the product, da da da, and then hands it off to you, and now it's just saved you like, most people take like six months, 12 months to figure out how to build their own site, and they still do it wrong. Most people have been going for years and still don't, no, I mean, we know all the plugins to use. We know how the design should be, how big the logo should be, the colors you should use, the pop-up language that you should use. This is all, you know, how to plug into different email platforms and SMS pop-ups and all that stuff. So we can do it um, depending on what you want. Like I said, it's usually between like two and 10,000. We've occasionally some really simple stuff we'll do for a thousand, but, and there's some people that have super complex stuff that you want us to build. I tend to not do those, to be honest. It's just like, you gotta hire a full-time person to do it. Um, but those are more like 10 to 25,000. But for most people, we can get it done for you. That's why we have this, if when you click the link below, we have this little um, question and answer process where you talk to my team so we can decide if it's a good fit. I've had people be like, oh, Ty, why'd you build me a, a competitor to Netflix? And, I wonder, and I'm like, look, you think we're gonna build your competitor to Netflix for two, two to $10,000, come on. And then there's a lot of people are like, no, I just wanna get started like help me, boom, 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 those were a better fit with. So if you're in doubt, it's free, click the link below, schedule a time, my team will call you, they're not high pressure, they're not gonna call you 50 times, you tell us when you want us to call, and if you don't want it, don't worry. This thing gets a crazy amount of applications, um, and I just am posting this video, and I already get, because I do a lot of live coaching and stuff on Zoom, and, and people always ask me for this. So. Um, there's like a 50-50 chance we'll actually take, accept you. Maybe not even 50-50. But don't worry. We're not mean about it. We're not like, ah, oh, we'll never help you. I mean, if it's easier for you just to do on your own, we'll be honest and be like, yeah, this is something you can just do on your own. Um, if we can add value, we're add value. This is a very, 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 very teeny part of my income, okay? Very teeny. Like, one hundredth of one percent or something like that. So I'm not... Yes, we make a little money doing it, but it's a service that I see people get stuck. And I'm just like, ah, but here's the deal. I'm not going to do this for 100,000 people. No way, ain't gonna happen. So if you happen to be watching this video, I don't know if you watch it when I just released it. If you click the calendar link below and it says waiting list, 
that means you'll watch this video too late. Just put your email on there. If we ever open this back up um, to build stores, you will be the first to know. Please do not contact me on Instagram or email my office. I get this. People going, ah, I die. I, I don't want to be on the wait list. Like, I'll pay you extra. Look, it's not, this is, this is something I'm doing as a test group. I don't want to give 100,000 people all the secrets. I mean, you're not going to get every secret I know, to be honest. I, I, I'm not that dumb. I ain't giving away 100% of what I know. But I'll give you a website that has like 80% of what I know. And um, what my business partner knows, he just sold his company, Zeus, e-commerce business for $300 million in July. You can Google Alex, Dr. Alex Marizuzk. See him ringing the New York Stock Exchange bell. So we have real deep domain expertise. And um, yeah, let us jumpstart if it's a good fit. This is gonna jumpstart you into e-com. If you ever thought, and <laughs> this is the greatest time in the history of mankind, this is the inflection point where e-com is just like, bam, it was growing at about 7%. And then because of the recent events that we all know about, this thing shot up to 30% growth year over year. That will not last, it will not last mathematically 30% you know, month over month growth, it ain't gonna last like that. So catch the thing early, early, that old saying, the early bird gets the worm has never been more true. So click the link below, schedule the calendar. Um, if you don't need us to do it, I hope this video added some value. Um, it should, because I'm telling you, there's not one video on the internet showing you those three simple things that I told you, none. I mean, unless it's a video I did. There should be a lot out there. I mean, people going to NYU business school, spend 120,000 on digital degree, they don't even have this taught in there. I've seen their curriculum, they don't teach this. Ethically addictive, large TAM, ascension model. No, sir, I was the first one to talk about that online. I got the receipts. Somebody else, people are gonna come out and copy me, pretend like it was theirs. That's the beauty of YouTube and stuff. It date and marked when it was released. Not that it's important if I'm first, but I just want you to know, like, sometimes people are like, oh, Ty is Ty just like a fake guru and doesn't know stuff and blah, 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 and rented Ferraris and blah. I'm like, you have no idea, okay? I love being underestimated. That's why I don't fight back at stuff. People surprised though, when I'm out here making big moves, you know, buying a company that did 740 million in revenue. Does that sound like a fake guru to you? Huh? <laughs> people try to pop quiz me what's this formula i'm like you want to make money or you want to memorize formulas huh so for the, those of you who understand i'm i'm kind of like people are kind of like oh you know i'm kind of a college dropout man i'm a little bit from the streets um maybe that comes off as a little unprofessional for some people but that's okay always art of war sun tzu a great Chinese book on business and war. The way to win is to let people underestimate you. So you've probably been underestimated. Who built you a site? People are like, how'd you know how to build a site like that? You don't even have to give me credit. You don't even have to give my office credit. I don't need any credit. I'm in the game to win, not get accolades. I tell people, you can get rich or you can get praised. Which one do you want? You can't get everything you want, but you pick one thing, you can get it. Focus. A focused mind is like a laser boy. It's like cuts through even a diamond. Hardest surface on earth. Can't withstand focused light. It's the same with your brain. So this will be good. We ain't doing it for everybody. If you click the link, let me repeat. Do not contact my office. I get people. I had a guy who wanted to invest in one of my deals. And he started, I'll invest a hundred grand. And I didn't want to do, I didn't want this guy in my deals. This is unrelated to this, but how my brain works. And he's like, I'll do 500,000. And I was like, nope. I think he thought I was doing reverse psychology. He's like, I'll do a million. And I was like, nope. It's like, uh, when I decided I don't want to do something anymore, all the money in the world can't bribe me into doing it again. But I'm in this mode. I got like four people in my company that know how to build these. I oversee it. It'll be good. I promise you, you ain't gonna be able to build this on your own. Um, and you can hire someone else to do it, but I see people charging like $50,000 to build it. 60,000, one of my students got charged to build a website. And I looked at the website, I said, this got built by somebody 
who probably the only way they ever made 60,000 in e-com was selling you this e-com course. So, yeah, good luck out there. It's a jungle in e-com, but a few cats gonna come out of that jungle on top. Look what happened to Jeff Bezos. Look what happened to Zuckerberg. I hope it's you. Click the link below if you want us to help you. If not, go check out Shopify, ClickFunnels, WordPress, Kajabi, uh, Teespring, AliExpress, all kinds of stuff. We'll piece it together or you can do it on your own. I don't care, honestly. But uh, I'm gonna take a handful of people. It'll be fun. It's fun, I like to see results. Schedule your call if you're a good fit. Remember, it's not a hundred bucks. Do not schedule a call if your total budget's $3. I can't, I got to pay my people to build it. You know, I'm not going to lose money. I don't, I'm not going to try to get rich off building you a site, but I ain't going to do it for free. My first mentor, Joel Salatin, I don't know if you saw it, it's just on Joe Rogan. He told me, it's better to do nothing for nothing than something for nothing. So I'm not going to do something for nothing. Some people are like, ah, oh, everything you should do should be free. I'm like, why? <laughs> you eat subpar food at McDonald's and you pay for it. And you want me to take what I've learned through the school of hard knocks, through being in the jungle Man, I haven't had a paycheck, guaranteed pay, so I was a teenager. I've been through the jungle. You want me to give you everything, all the rules of the jungle? Pfft. I already learned that rule. Better to do nothing for nothing than something for nothing. Fair exchange, reciprocal altruism. So for those of you who click the link, get in the test group, done for you, e-commerce, website. We look forward to meeting you. Talk soon.